this step here. Okay, so this is the pens from my latest pen haul. Um, sort of last week I went out on a pen hunt and over the bank holiday weekend I went to numerous locations and these are the pens that I found so let's show them to you as always don't forget people lots of these will be available for sale some of them are going to be used for parts some of them will be sold as is um, not all of them well some of them will be fully restored and reviewed some will not um, if there's anything that is of interest to you you know as with all my customers why not email me and make an inquiry and don't forget um, personally what I believe in is that a lot of people are actually seeing some of these pens not just in this pen hole but in previous pen holes um, and they're looking at me saying, oh, that won't be available, That I bet that's sold quickly. Now, the more people are thinking like that, then, well, basically, the pens don't actually sell. I've still got actually numerous pens available from previous uh, pen hauls, some lovely pens. Um, so, the point of the matter I'm getting at is that, when in doubt, why not just make an inquiry? If it's available, it's available. If it's not, it's not. But some people, I think, are actually looking at a particular pen and saying, oh, that's a lovely, oh, I bet that's sold already. In some cases, that is not the case. So don't be shy. Send me an email. So let's get stuck into these. Let's start with the boxes first of all. Here we go. We've shown you these before. Um, we've got a, well a Waterman CF. They've got lovely nibs on these with this sort of sort of gold. I've actually got numerous CF fountain pens. So oh, there we go. If it's of interest, give me a shout. Uh, what we got here, a Parker. Oh, nice and simple. A Parker 45 in the original case. Uh, this one's actually not even been inked. So Parker 45s. I've got numerous pack of 45s available. Um, ah, this one here, we've got this. Well, it's actually a pencil and a ballpoint. If you look at there, it's got, is it 1953? So, and something obviously to do with royalty. Um, it may be, well, yeah, you know, when, uh, I forget the term, you know, the, the term that I'm looking for, but it's a pencil and a ballpoint and, yeah, as I said, from 1953, well, that just came in a job lot, so I had to buy that. Um, now, here's an interesting pen. Um, if we just take it out of the box, says he, there we go. Look at that. An absolutely gorgeous Conway Stewart. This is the number 73 in this beautiful hatch pattern. Uh, the green, I believe, is a more sought-after colour from all the colours. So it's a Conway Stewart 73, a lovely, slender, lovely looking fountain pen. Now, just checking this pen out, I don't believe there's no remnants of ink in the cap, as you'd find with an old pen. There's no remnants of ink you know, on the feed, etc. As far as I'm concerned, the pen has never been inked. So what we'll do, we'll just check the uh, the sack inside, and if it's hardened, and we'll replace the sack, give it a polish, and somebody will have themselves a beautiful pen. Right, let's bring these across here. Look at all these. Right, again, without sort of any order there we go what we got here all ah, right this is the John Bull fountain pen as you can see there it's what we term as a safety pen there you go so they don't have any any sacks in them let's screw that back on so we've got a John Bull pen uh, with this sort of gold band there we go to the very front here Oh, there we go. As always, Parker Slimfold. Yeah, I've got loads of Parker Slimfolds now, so 
Where are you people that like the slim folds? There we go, a nice chrome um, cross fountain pen. Make lovely pens. There's people that prefer these metal pens. So there we go, we've got a cross. Um, there we go, what's this one? Right, a Parker, Parker Vacuumatic. Unfortunately, as you can see, it's got a steel nib, which is the wrong nib. And to the end there, this sort of finial is missing. So there we go, we've got a lovely pen that needs needs some parts. I may actually have a nib, but I don't know if I've got actually a finial there. But once this pen is done, it'll make a lovely pen. A lovely Conway Stewart. I'm not quite sure of the model. Ah, a Conway Stewart 75 in blue. Lovely nib. Once polished and cleaned, that'll make a gorgeous pen. Um, all right. Well, this again came in a job. Well, with a job lot of a, a couple of pen. It's a Saint Dupont ballpoint pen. Okay. You know I'm a fountain pen man, but hey that came with a couple of pens there may be somebody who's interested in that um, what we got here looks like a swan there's no cap with it but once again it'll be good for parts or we'll find a cap for the pen so there we have it let's pop that over there oh there we go yet again Parker is it a slim fold or yep it's a slim fold. Nice thing about this one, you can see it's in this green colour, which is a little bit more sought after than the standard black colours. Um, ah, there's a nice pen. As you can see, it's quite large. Okay, this is actually, yeah, it's got a Parker nib there. This is actually a Parker Do Fold Senior. Okay, so this is the sort of the the flagship of the Parker pens of that period until they brought out the Maxima, which is the sort of again the flagship pen with a large nib. But this is the senior model. You can see a lovely size. In fact, I can see there we've got a green do fold in the standard size. So if you look there, you can see. The senior is a lot bigger. Uh, yep, yeah, we've got a lovely nib. Incidentally, both of these pens are what we term as aerometric. The lovely thing about these pens, the do folds, the, the juniors, the senior, they are bulletproof pens. They make great everyday user pens. Okay, Parker 17, or a Parker Lady 17. Okay, so there we go, pop that in there. Um, this is a Parker 61, you can see it came without a without a cap. Um, yep, yeah, it's got the aerometric filler. Now the reason I bought this, quite simply, is because I want it for the, for the section. I've got Parker 61s waiting for a nice section. Uh, most of them tend to have the missing inlaid arrow there, so that'll become useful to make up another another pen. Um, right now, what we've got here is a bit of a mishmash. We've got a Parker Do fold in this lovely sort of burgundy colour, burgundy marble. Unfortunately, as you can see, it's got the wrong cap, but. What we'll do, we'll try and find a cap for that, and again, that'll make a lovely pen. Uh, right, this one's nice and simple, you can see it's got a lovely clear imprint. This is a Parker Junior, a rather, well, obviously slightly bigger than the, the Slim Folds. A lovely size pen, once again, excellent pens as an everyday writing pen. Okay, we've got a Schaefer. This is a cartridge converter. You can see it's got the inlaid 14 karat gold nib. Once again, lovely 
everyday writing pens um, what's this one ah we've got a boots Chatsworth pen if I show you the imprint there you can see it says Chatsworth uh, you can see the clip as in these particular pens and the Burnham's the the plate on them was very very thin and they wear off quite easily we may actually get this clip sort of replated because that'll make a nice pen for somebody to use um, yeah a nice little swan pen a swan is it a cell filler we've got the model number there let me have a look a six six two sixty lever fill with the nib we'll restore that that'll make a lovely pen um, a rather modern sort of Schaefer pen um, I think this is a Schaefer Prelude okay with a sort of two-tone nib as you can see there okay I'm sure there's people out there that collect or like the Schaefer Prelude another Parker Dufold there we go there's a barrel imprint for you nice clear barrel imprint lovely chunky pen uh, you can see the nib there is slightly wonky conky so what we'll need to do is work on that nib straighten it out but what we'll do we'll save that pen and again somebody will hopefully use it there we go what we got here a Anotto uh, fountain pen um, this is the okay the imprint is a little bit worn but it is legible um, with a loop there you go it's got the Anotto nib there you can see it's quite discoloured but I'm sure we'll be able to do something with that the plunger is stuck I'm sure we'll be able to do something with that so yeah a nice uh, a notto plunger filler or piston filler depends who you talk to <laughs> um, right what we got here oh a summit this is a nice summit fountain pen again the clip slightly worn uh, the top there you can see discoloured as always it's got a, a small warranted nib it's a lever fill fountain pen okay lovely colour once we've cleaned that up and done the business on that that'll make a lovely pen and there we go there's a lovely Parker Dufold um, I believe this is the deluxe the deluxe pen because if we show you the nib let's keep it quite still for you you can see it says deluxe on the nib so that helps us out it's a button filler as you can see there with a the blind cap um, and I believe this is the well it's the streamline lady deluxe and if you look to on my videos I think was it the last video I did or the one previous to that I actually showed you the red um, version of this particular pen so again we'll restore it and make it available as I said the red one that I showed you some people may have actually looked at it and thought oh that's a lovely pen I, I bet it's well sold well no it's still available so again there we go so we've got a Parker Junior with the correct nib oh look the sap protector is a little bit cruddy but hopefully we might be able to polish that out make it nice and uh, shiny again but a lovely pen for an everyday writer and while we're at it let's have a look at this one there you go look at that imprint there that's lovely and clear another Parker Junior in this lovely blue colour in lovely condition 
it's not there you go that's lovely and clean you can see the sack is quite quite clean so that'll just simply need sort of cleaning out that'll make a lovely pen for somebody right what's this one a burnham right I believe this is a burnham number 55 quite a chunky pen okay it's got the correct nib there as always as I've just said you can see the clip there is is sort of worn the plate is worn as I said on these particular pens the plate or the gold wash was very thin and they do wear very easily right what's this one ah this is a, a nice sort of wyvern fountain pen okay in this green okay I'm not sure has it got wyvern nib yet lovely pens are wyvern one of the longest manufacturers of wyvern fountain pens um, here we go a lot of people will look at that and recognize it we've got the pelican 120 on this particular model it has the steel nib if we show you the plunger there you go the plunger is in working order so this will just need just a cleaning up the sort of band there looks a little bit worn but okay it's a vintage pen 1950s um, it's got the logo to the very top there nice little Waterman's in sort of navy blue okay nice Waterman nib these also make lovely everyday writing pens lovely I mean a lot of these pens are just quality made no nonsense fountain pens they're excellent we've got Conway Stewart here as you can see rather dull uh, what model is it uh, looks like a 15 okay this one just needs sort of rejuvenating you can see yes yeah, it's, it's rather dull but we'll work on it okay we've got a pen here which this is actually a I believe to be a Croxley fountain pen okay but with a different name on the barrel and if I just look it actually says the Ken Kendish the Kendish pen and then it has uh, Manchester unity of odd fellows um, the best the best friendly society so if I show you that there you can see something about odd fellows a best friendly society and then as I say a slightly strange name to the pen itself okay we're getting to the last ones um, a nice swan fountain pen leaveless there you go what we got here ah now this one's an interesting one this is a Parker 51 it's actually what we term as a vacuumatic and I believe the colour although it's difficult to see on video is what we term as cedar blue and the nice thing about it okay it's got the blue diamond there which is slightly worn we'll, we'll rectify that but if you look at the cap the cap actually has these lines running all the way round the cap and then just to well, there's a sort of the imprint down to the bottom of the cap there so I'm not too sure that it might actually have a rare cap on it so I'll need to do a little bit of homework on this one and we'll restore it another swamp pen you can see this one's the what we term as a torpedo shape um, the model being it's a 4 
4260 okay these make lovely pens so what we'll do we'll restore that as well uh, last but not least we've got another this is actually what we term as a Parker Do fold it's the later version as you can see now it's getting to look like the Parker 45 cap so the Do fold from a later version and last but not least a burgundy Parker 65 okay with a gold fill cap it's got a aerometric filler with this lovely this lovely nib one of my favorite nibs in nice condition so there we have it that's my pen haul as I said most of them are available if you're interested get in touch with me some of them will be restored some of them will be reviewed unfortunately some will not as an example <coughs> this Conway Stewart here um, what we'll do we'll clean it up and everything it will be available I will not be reviewing it because if you go on my channel and you key in or you google Conway Stewart 73 you will see that a while ago I actually reviewed the exact pen so if you want to have a look at it in more details go and have a look at it but there we have it that's my pen haul my recent pen haul I hope you enjoyed looking at the pens as much as I enjoy showing them to you people don't forget leave a comment below just down there press that thumbs up give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget people wherever you are around the world please stay safe especially our friends in the Ukraine Slavo Kriini but for now I'll just say bye bye for now <laughs>